I've reconnected with Esta, whom I've met in El Salvador. We met up in Peru, and so far we traveled to Lima, Mar Flores, Ica, Hawacachina, Nazca, and Arequipa. We are off to Cusco now. I learned my lesson and decided to take it easy for the first two days after arriving in Cusco with an overnight bus. We spent the day in San Pedro Market and ended up getting a massage for 30 souls, which is about 10 Canadian dollars. Cow heart. So far the potatoes are good. I'm going to try it the rest in a bit. Mm. This is a regular meal. <laughs> The first tour was Human Tide Lake. It was three to four hours round trip up a mountain to see a lake. The view was breathtaking and it reminded me though of those hiking days in Vancouver. Human Tide Lake actually kind of reminded me of Jeffrey Lake in BC. Oh, I forgot to mention, I decided to stay 10 days in Cusco in order to save 25 US dollars. Although with accommodation and food, I think I spent way more than the 25 dollars. But at least I get to see more now. On one of the relaxing slash chill days, I got a tattoo of an alpaca afraid as she is sandboarding downhill. You probably know where I got that inspiration from. And of course, another massage. This time we negotiated down to 20 souls, which is about 7 dollars. <laughs> the second day we went to Zoo Nusak where Essa volunteered four years ago. These animals were rescued and they came here to be rehabilitated. Those who get better will be put back in the wild, however those that cannot survive in the wild will stay here in Zoo Nusak. We then went up Statue of Christ to see, you got it, the Statue of Christ, an aerial view of Cusco. A man approached us and of course he was selling us a tour to go horseback riding. My negotiation skills got way better and managed to lower the price from 50 souls to only 20 souls. Puma now and the condor to the iron wall. The second tour was riding ATVs and visiting the salt mines. I tried my best to go fast, but boy oh boy, the people in front of you were so slow. I did this thing where you stop and waited, and then when there was enough space in front, I just booked it. And again, I ate dirt. My clothes needed to be washed at the end of the trip. Almost zero visibility and I'm still speeding. Just watching it pee and poop. Hi. Aww. I got dope drop. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for a while now. I was so close to doing this in Vancouver. Luckily, I didn't because it was a fourth of the price in Peru, and that tour is white water rafting. Essa didn't come with me for this one because she had done it before and also she was trying to save money. I don't blame her after paying what we did for Machu Picchu tour. I tried so hard not to fall out. For one, I can't swim, and two, the water is freezing. Although, at one point, we hit a giant rock in the middle of the river, and almost half of the people in the raft fell over. No, no. My, I stuck yes. my foot in. <laughs> I made sure I got stuck. I had no idea zip lining was part of the tour. Zip lining is usually not scary for me, but something about jumping off yourself is scary. Yeah, how about this? We did another hike tour, this time it was to go up Rainbow Mountain. I felt like this one was much harder than the first one. At the top, they had alpacas with sunglasses on. It was one of the cutest things I've seen. One of the guides told us about this waterfall in the next town over, Chinchiro. We took an hour bus ride to the town and began our hike down to the waterfall. It was weird, usually you hike uphill, but this was the opposite. 
you hike down, then up. The waterfall was worth the hike, though. Ah. Last but not least, our tour to Machu Picchu. You cannot come to Cusco and not visit Machu Picchu. The journey began with a car bringing us to the train station. Then a bus up to the mountain where we met our guide. Not a massage, but a hot spring. That too was well deserved. Only this time the water didn't look so clean. I don't know why it's green. I really hope I don't get an infection. We repeated the process of getting back down to Cusco. We got back at 10 p.m. and I had to catch a bus to Puno at 7 a.m. <laughs> So much damn stairs! That same day I arrived at Puno, I went up to Mirador El Condor to see a giant condor. Well, it was a statue of a condor. And the view of Puno. You can see Titicaca Lake from here, which I'll be seeing more of tomorrow. I went on a half day tour to Titicaca Lake. These islands on Titicaca Lake are all man made by the Euros people using Tutora roots which grow in the lake. Over time, they rot so they need to be changed periodically. Each island contains two to five families and there are larger islands that are communal hubs. These islands were originally created to protect themselves from invading groups. I was not feeling the greatest. Good thing it was only a three hour tour. When I got back, I legit went to bed and stayed there from 3 p.m. in the afternoon to the next morning at 7 a.m. The only reason why I got out of bed was because I had to catch a bus to Copacabana, Bolivia. I was trying to cross the borders without looking sick. Turns out I got a case of food poisoning and that was not fun. Not fun at all. <laughs> 